today has made me think differently about the role that young people have to play in uh, kind of shaping diversity in the UK. Um, I really like that one of the speakers said that we are social change makers um, and it's really the responsibility of all of us to do something um, I find that really interesting. I think when someone says the word diversity you automatically think about race and today they talked about age, um, they talked about you know the different skills you've got as well as race and it just kind of the different the people being different rather than just racial differences so I feel like it's kind of opened my eyes as well as like what's been happening and what used what you know England used to be like um, and how it is now and how it's improved but it still does need improving so it's kind of helped me realize that today has made me think differently about um how we actually go affecting change in the corporate world. Um, I used to think sometimes that it, affecting change you have to do it from the outside in, in terms of um, sending other like activists in through sending letters, protesting, things like that. But sometimes it can work from the inside out. So um, infiltrating those spaces and uh, forcing them to accept people of or, like all different backgrounds because like embracing diversity is essentially embracing excellence. Without a doubt, today has inspired me um, to think of diversity in the sense of um, self believing in myself. Um, I think sometimes the opportunities are actually there, but some people, um, me, me included, find it difficult um, because although the opportunities might be there, the self-esteem might not be there. And then when you when you note when when self-confidence is present, then you seem to want to go forward and want to actually maybe apply for a particular job. Whereas before, if you saw a particular job, you might be a bit scared because you might just feel, feel that you're a bit insufficient in that regard. So without a doubt, I've thought different today.